Hey guys, it's Jager262 and welcome back to World of Tanks. Today I have... I... nothing. Uh, this is the most interesting black market uh, video to cover as it's only 2 minutes into 11am. I just got on to World of Tanks. I have to refresh it to make this video. And today's vehicle, the PZ38H, is already out of stock on the NA server. So... Two minutes. It sold out in two minutes or less. That is insane, and I did not expect it to sell out that fast. I had no, like I told you guys earlier, I had no idea what vehicles were going to be sold. They don't tell us what's happening the day before. You just have to be on at 11 a.m., and this is a perfect example of exactly at 11. I logged into World of Tanks at 11, and it took about two minutes for the game to start up and synchronize all my data. By the time that had gotten finished, this vehicle was already gone so let that be a warning to you guys because i did not want to miss out on this one i didn't even know it was going to be offered i believe it was offered last time and i just forgot about it but really unfortunate i can't tell you the price that this is selling for or the credits and i apologize for that i had no idea it was going to sell out that quickly not even the type 59 gold sold out that quickly yesterday now for anybody who did get this vehicle, please let me know if you like it in the comments section below. For those of you who don't know it or couldn't get it, here's why it's sold out. This is like the R35 at tier 2 is a heavily armored French tank put up in German colors or a Bayut Panzer, which basically means war booty or war prize scheme and so it's a german premium tank not a french one but the vehicle is french and the reason it's so popular is i believe the r35 no not the r35 it was this tank i can never remember which is which both are extremely powerful at their tiers but this vehicle was nicknamed the pocket mouse when it came out i believe four or five years ago simply because for its tier i think it's a tier three but uh, hold on, let me check real quick. It is so well armored against the opponents it sees, which it sees anything from tier 2 to tier 3, whether it's tier 2 or otherwise. And its armor was never properly balanced. Okay, so it is. I had to double check. It is a tier 2 light tank. That means it gets preferential matchmaking. And it is impenetrable. It is. Its nickname, Pocket Mouse, was well-deserved. Um, unless you hit this thing in the back with a medium tank at Tier 2, it's not going to penetrate. All light tanks that it sees, Tier 1 and Tier 2, cannot penetrate it from any side, even in the turret. It's almost impossible to knock out, not unlike the Panzer 2J at Tier 3. It was just ungodly overpowered. And they keep bringing it back. So if you're getting tired of the power creeps in high tiers or grinding and getting power creeped by the new Russian heavy tanks or Russian premiums, don't worry. Now new players at tier 2 have the opportunity to also get power creeped by a premium vehicle that is unstoppable. Unfortunately, I do not have the pleasure of playing this tank because it sold out in near record time i bet this was a vehicle from last time that a lot of people missed out on or just did not think was worth it obviously compared to vehicles like the type 59g or the fv 183 death star a tier 2 premium german light tank is not very high on the list of wanted vehicles and then after seeing what people did with it after the last black market or seeing other youtubers play it they probably realized they had missed out on one of the most powerfully unbalanced tanks in all of world of tanks and that's why i sold out so fast fortunately i don't know how much it was and i don't know if this was just for sale or if it was on the auction system like the type 59 was last night for gold and i am not sure whether or not all vehicles are going through the auction system or if it's just the gold vehicles but a little bit more news on that I wanted to give a huge thank you 
to everybody who's commenting on these videos, the whole community. I think I went up by 20 subscribers in just the past day. It's been really incredible. It's supporting the channel so much. It's letting me make these Roller Tank videos for you. And I just wanted to thank you guys for your support, for coming out, for talking to me in the comment section telling me about the certain vehicles. Another shout out to the Ultimate for letting me, or for reminding me rather, that this event was happening. And from you guys, I learned that at least for gold vehicles, the auction is not just placing a bid and then you get the vehicle as part of the black market. Unfortunately, I had a lot of you guys tell me on my last video, or last night's video, the Type 59, that you auctioned 20 up to 30,000 gold and were still losing out on it. Now, I also learned that at the time I recorded the video, I said there's only 300 units in North America. I don't know if that was 300 left or if they only gave us 300 units to be auctioned off. But I had a gentleman in the on the EU server tell me that they had 1,500 Type 9 golds. I have no idea if the bidding was the same for the EU server. I imagine that it was, but they had more vehicles. That being said, these are actual auctions, and I did not know that. And I am so sorry that I couldn't tell you guys that before last night, because I know some of you guys were disappointed to have spent 30 40,000 gold and just to get outbidded by another person uh, one person in the NA who won it ended up paying 60,000 gold or more just to drive the Type 59 and I don't know how I feel about that I am very sorry if anybody was outbid that's really terrible I had no idea they were real auctions now I know thanks to you guys letting me know and so I could put that in this video just to tell everybody, next time, maybe tonight's vehicle will be a gold auction. I will be able to tell you that going forward that there's a chance you might not win that tank even if you pay all that gold. And I do assume that you just lose the gold like a real auction. Hopefully you don't and you get to keep the gold if you're outbid. I'm not sure how it works, but kind of sucks that... They're not just selling these vehicles and you do have to fight for them. But thank you for letting me know that detail. And outside from black market stuff, just to do a real quick breakdown, because my channel is growing so much around the black market event and you guys are liking the videos and commenting, I'm going to try and make more World of Tank videos now that I have the game again, starting with, and this is just a preview of my next video probably after the black market week is over. But with the Super Hellcat, this is a tier seven premium tank destroyer that was awarded to anybody who has spent the past six years or more with World of Tanks. I'm one of those players. So for us veterans, we got this award. I didn't even know about this until I logged into the game two days ago. And so I'll be doing a review on this vehicle. I'll be looking at some of my favorite and rare World of Tanks vehicles as well as the Mutant, that really special alpha test reward which we were able to get for limited quantities in another event like the Black Market a couple of months ago. So I really, really, I, I'm almost speechless, I really appreciate all the support of the community, the new subscribers, the comments, and just the engagement you guys have with World of Tanks. Because I haven't been playing World of Tanks in a while, I just forgot about this really great community out there of tankers that exist. And I'm going to try to make more content for you guys in the future, starting with the reviews of the Mutant and the Super Hellcat. I'm going to review the double-barreled Russian Heavy Tanks. I have one of those now. And some other really interesting premium vehicles I was able to get before I moved and stopped playing the game. So I'm going to go back and do videos on all those vehicles and keep making World of Tanks contents for you guys because you guys are really, really supporting the channel right now and I appreciate it so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to be making another video at 11 p.m. tonight for the black market and then watch out for any of these reviews in the future. I might do the Super Hellcat this week because it is relatively new. For the other vehicles, it'll just be fun gameplay and reviews like the Mutant Spin Around since the alpha of the game in 2010 
So everybody's kind of seen it, but I haven't played it. So just stuff like that. If you ever want to get notified on those videos, aside from the black market, as always, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I make more. Already a lot of people have started subscribing and it's really great. It allows me to keep making videos like this or making reviews about tanks. So thank you so much, guys, once again. I know I sound like a broken record. And as always, please let me know in the comment section below if you got the PC-38H, if you like that pocket mouse at tier two, or if you missed out, or if you have any more information, any of the guys who were commenting on last night's video, please let me know, or you can message me if you got to keep your gold once you bid it, or if Wargaming took that gold and now you've lost 20,000 gold for nothing. And if the PZ-38 was credit or gold or any information you guys have about anything in the game, really appreciate it. Thank you again, and I will see you next time.